I now invite Bridgeton sisters to stand and together we will renew our commitment. As a Bridgeton sister, I renew my commitment today to listen to the Spirit in my life, be compassionate and loving towards all, to care for the earth, its resources responsibly, and for a freer and more just society. I now invite the congregation to stand. I renew my commitment to be faithful in the spirit of the gospel, to respect and care for humanity and all of creation, and to use the earth's resources in a responsible way. God of endings and new beginnings, God of our pilgrim journey, we praise and bless you for all that has been over the past 200 years. We thank you for your faithful love that has nourished and guided us from the beginning, confident that the same loving presence will sustain us from into the future. Let us go forth in joyful hope to risk the sacred journey. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May St. Bridget bless us and make us generous in our giving, pleasant in our greetings, honest in our speaking, loyal in our loving, clear in our thinking, strong in our working, and joyful in our living. When it's time for our homecoming, may there be peace in our passing and a warm welcome in heaven. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. At this moment, I want to offer a very sincere thanks to everyone who made this celebration of the Eucharist so meaningful and so memorable today. I thank President Mary McAleese for sharing the Word of God with us today. Thanks to Bishop Moriarty for celebrating this Eucharist, assisted by Monsignor Brendan Byrne, Father Andy Leahy, and all who can celebrate it. Bishop Moriarty, thank you for your inspiring, affirming, and thought-provoking homily. To the Bicentenary Liturgy Committee, I say congratulations. Your time, your energy and preparation were so evident all through this beautiful liturgy today. Thanks to all the choirs and musicians. <laughs> to the Tullow Parish Choir, which is always ready to support us in times of joy and in times of sorrow. Thank you. To the Haywood, Mount Rath and Tullow School Choirs, thank you. The Tullow Primary Girls School signaled, signaled a note of hope in Bridget Brings the Spring. The liturgical movement by the Haywood dancers was so reverent and crazy. <laughs> to the readers, 
altar servers, Eucharistic ministers, sacristan, bell ringers, ushers, all those who decorated the church so beautifully, and all who took part in any way, I say, well done and thank you. And to the congregation for your active participation, all of us together made this liturgy a joyous and prayerful celebration. What a wonderful beginning to our bicentenary. Thank you.